We were somewhere around Barstow, on the edge of the desert, when the drugs began to take hold. I remember saying something like, I do it lightheaded. Maybe you should drive. Suddenly, there was a terrible roar all around us. And the sky was full of what looked like huge bats, all swooping and screeching and diving around the car. And a voice was screaming, Holy, Holy Jesus, Jesus, where are these goddamn animals? animals? Good. 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 Hey. Good. Say something. Hmm? Never mind. It's your turn to drive. No point mentioning these bats, I thought. The poor bastard will see them soon enough. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers, also a quarter tequila, quarter rum, case of beer, pint of raw ether, and two dozen amyls. Not that we needed all that for the trip, but once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. Here. This is bad country. Welcome back to another video, Peter here. Today's video, Cobra and the Canary by Imaginary Authors. As you can probably tell by the intro to this video, that clip you've just watched is uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas with Johnny Depp. When I smelled this, that, that's what I imagined. It, it's uh, one of the more unusual fragrances that I've tried. Whew. I can imagine you're, you're either going to really like this fragrance or you're going to find you're going to really struggle with, with the opening, one, one or the other. What I get, I think the lemon you get, I'll read the notes first. The official notes are lemon, tobacco, flower, orris root, leather, hay fields and asphalt. Um, the lemon is kind of a fleeting, it's kind of there and it's burnt off kind of instantly. And what I kind of noticed the most is this combination of the of the leather, which to me smells like kind of aged antique brown leather mixed with tobacco flower and the orris root. The, there is a sense of this sort of overwhelming dryness, which is what I pictured like driving through a desert in the heat in a convertible car. Very, very dry. I think you get the the visualization of of an open road in a desert so you've got that kind of hot tarmac and kind of dry dusty air but the the leather seats of the car it paints a very vivid image <laughs> there is something as it progresses i feel like it gets almost a little bit chalky like dry dusty kind of chalky smell which i'm not sure maybe maybe that's partly the orris root um, maybe the way the orris mixed with the hay kind of notes. Uh, I, I have no idea, but basically it kind of smells a little bit dry and dusty. But the leather is definitely one of the most noticeable notes to me with this kind of dry, dusty, chalky kind of element surrounding the leather. I would say if you're going to struggle with this fragrance, it's going to be in the first 20 minutes. With it being quite unusual and, and quite strong, uh, it's a little bit daring for the first 20 minutes I would say. You might be put off by the opening or you might absolutely love it. But I think it gets a lot more wearable and easier to enjoy after about 20 minutes, half an hour, is where it becomes more about where it becomes more about the the soft sort of antiqued brown leather. Uh, with, without kind of quite the same level of harshness uh, uh, as what is portrayed in the opening which I guess you could say is the cobra part of the fragrance it's very very intense like you're midway through that scene already you're driving along in your, in your convertible car through the desert high on drugs with bats attacking you that's that's the <laughs> that, that, that's the cobra you're in backcountry 
then it tones down into this more relaxed kind of uh, nice soft antique leather much more uh, easier going at that point I, I think after the two hour mark is where it becomes you get a little bit of relief and it actually get a sweetness coming through with with the aged leather to my in my opinion it smells something along the lines of coumarin or something like that where it's kind of a mixture of a uh, kind of a vanilla, coconut, hay and almond. It's kind of a combination of those things. So there's kind of a, a coconutty, almondy, vanilla-y kind of vibe that comes out more in the dry down with this uh, nice leather. And I guess that is the the canary part, the you know the the pretty part of the fragrance. Maybe when they've uh, come down off their little drug trip and they're more back in reality. That's that's just how I picture it. It's um, yeah, it gets much more easy to enjoy and prettier in the in the dry down, and softer and slightly sweet. Like I say, I get kind of this mixture of coconutty, almondy, vanilla kind of thing that actually reminds me of another Imaginary Authors fragrance. I think it's Mosaic. I might be wrong, but there it has a kind of a similar sweetness in the smell of that one which almost smells like, for, for guys in England, kind of like Bertie Bassett's all, licorice all sorts. I, I'm not sure if this shares a common note with Mosaic. Um, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I, I do get a sense of that kind of sweetness. In terms of performance, I get seven hours in longevity with... The projection's actually quite good. I would say one to two hours of a modest projection, um, but it, it does irradiate off your skin for a couple of hours. It's not just one hour and it's flat. It actually does keep pushing for quite a while. Um, so I think the performance is, is, is on the good side. It's interesting. It's quite uh, challenging. I don't think it's particularly all that safe, at least for the, for the opening part of the fragrance for the first two hours. This is one I'm not sure I would wear myself. I think I'm going to test this quite a bit more to see how my opinions change. Um, but it doesn't strike me. I appreciate it for the image that it gives me and it definitely does give me the, that image But I'm not sure that I, that I would pull that off, but very interesting Probably m one of the more unique fragrances from from imaginary authors in terms of just uh, sheer like creative uh, Talent in visualization of what you get from it. I would say uh, difficult to kind of categorize this into seasons I can imagine people pulling this off in the heat just because of the, the dry desert kind of air smell might actually work in that kind of climate. I, I'm not sure how that would go, but the image that it gives you reflects that, so it, maybe it just works in all seasons. Occasions, again, I find it difficult to kind of say when you would wear this fragrance. I, I wouldn't particularly wear it for a night out kind of fragrance. I, I'm not sure I would wear it in the daytime. So I'm, I'm not sure that this is why I'm questioning whether or not I, I personally would wear this because I'm not sure the occasion that, that I would uh, reach for it. It's a very, very interesting and different and I honestly can't compare it to anything else. I think it's definitely unique and it definitely paints a picture of getting in, you know, a convertible car and, and driving, you know, in the heat across a desert just escaping life which is basically what the story is about if you go on the official website and read the little uh, the little book so to speak two two guys get in a shelby cobra roadster and just drive across the states uh stopping off at parties and all that uh, so, so yeah very very well done to the image that it portrays it doesn't quite have the wearability for me personally but i 100 percent appreciate it as being a very unique artistic interesting fragrance that's that's challenging and easy to wear at the same time but you have to wait to get from the cobra to the canary that's it guys uh we'll see you again in the next video we can't stop here. bye this is bad country